We are starting with almost two feet of gravel underneath the tank to absorb the water. So to prepare this barrel for burying, I'm going to drill a hole on either side to fit the pipe in and the pipe out. And then I'm going to drill a bunch of holes on the bottom for drainage. I like to use the whole barrel rather than the barrel cut in half because it's stronger, there's more stability if there's weight on top. Half a barrel could kind of be a little bit weaker than a, than a full barrel. Oh, it'd be nice if I had the battery in. Yeah, it fits nicely. Here's a little shot inside the tank. You can see all our, our drain holes. So our inlet, of course, is up here, coming out about a 45 degree. And then our outlet will be going downhill, as you can see, and come out of the side of this hill. In this area, you're not allowed to have any uh, gray water sitting. So my hopes is that this tank will take most of the water from the washing machine and it'll go down into these rocks and soak into the ground. But if it happens to fill up and it comes out on the side of this hill, it should just basically run into the earth. By the time uh, it reaches the bottom, there'll be little to nothing. Okay, so we're gonna start dumping stuff in there. As you can see, we have a mixture of pieces of concrete, bricks, that were left over from the um, brick wall and little chips of limestone. Oh, <laughs> it's just a little heavy. Now we got this thing filled all the way around, which increases the stability of this thing, its ability to hold more weight now, because we have uh, the sides kind of um, supported. The ability to hold more weight increases a lot. So what, the last thing I want is all this dirt to filter down into those rocks and fill the spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some kind of flat stones on top, and then we're going to put a blanket on top of that to stop the uh, small sediment pieces and dirt from filtering in and blocking up our spaces that we just created to hold all that wall. And this blanket here is a synthetic material that won't uh, rot out like, uh, like a cotton blanket would. So it's going to act as a filter to keep the, uh, the particles out. Funny thing is, we found it in the ground here when we were digging this hole to put the tank so, in. So you go a couple feet down, maybe in this spot, maybe three, four feet down, and you hit this clay. This kind of orangish, reddish clay is what they use to line ponds to hold the water. So that's one of the reasons why I need a lot of material here, broken up limestone and bricks and rocks, is to have somewhere for the water to go. Because once it hits this limestone, I'm sorry, once it hits this clay, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to act like a, uh, a pond and, and just kind of hold that water. It eventually soaks through very slowly over time, but not so fast. We do have some good uh, drainage soil in the first uh, maybe three feet, so a lot of the water will go out to the sides, and, uh, and uh, some of it will go down through this eventually, but not very quickly. Okay, so I put down a layer of clay all around on top of that blanket. And once that clay packs down a bit, it'll stop surface water from going in and filling up the uh, leach field that we just created. And now we're going to put the regular soil back on top of that. That'll also help prevent, uh, if someone walks on it after it rains, that clay, which kind of acts like dog poop, sticks to your shoes. That'll all be buried under there and that'll be a nice place to walk as well. Sometimes a hoe is a little bit easier than a shovel because you can kind of slide it along rather than lifting it up. 
get that material. Ooh. Okay, we got the tank all buried up and we're ready to run this pipe here. The easiest way to cut this pipe is with a ha uh, chop saw. I used to use a hacksaw and that was a real pain in the neck. And I suggest earplugs if you're using these kind of saws. So we have primed all of our pieces here and we've put it all, assembled it all together to kind of give it a test run. Uh, we're going to get ready to glue it and put it all in place. As you can see, everything's on a bit of a downhill slope. So any water that's going to come through the pipe and, you know, if it builds up in the tank, it's just going to continue flowing downhill down the side of the hill. Now comes all the hard work. You have to fill this trench in.